So, continuing with the sports theme. Um, now, we're going to have to uh, decide whether it's summer or winter. And we've just done the winter Paris in Dakar thing. So, I might have to do some uh, wintery type sports events. No, I can't remember if I actually like any of, of the actual events in winter games. Maybe it was, uh, maybe it wasn't the Paris Dakar rally we were doing because, uh, you know, when we're having lovely snowflakes uh, falling down in, f in front of our eyes outside the window, whilst uh, scoffing down loads of uh, turkey with all the trimmings at Christmas, a good Christmas for uh, Australians is barbecue time. Now, as much as I like a Chef Dali Kebab, as you probably more than anyone who watches my channel, believe me. I don't think I'll go for that. Nah, no, there's something about Christmas. What am I going to wear? A Christmas t-shirt? Christmas flip-flops? Disgusting anyway, those things. They should be banned. Um, nah, no, I prefer it with... Uh, you know, you've got your smart clothes on, a nice extra thick jumper, possibly that your mum bought you. Wolfing down loads of turkey with that extra nice gravy you made using the uh, some of the turkey juices. And because I'm not 100% vegan, it's no problem at Christmas. However, I will not eat lamb. Now, I've just noticed this... Uh, there's more clips broken. What the hell is going on with this thing? They've broken more of the damn clips. They have. I don't believe it. What do they do in here when I'm not in it? Yeah, let's put that down there. Don't want the new nosy neighbours looking at me. Here we go. I do. Where am I going to get curtain hooks from? So a final blow is kind of uh, graphically, it's in a league of its own. No, 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 go away. No off, mate. Shut up. Get the fuck out, you fucking losers. Callum. Yeah, just fuck off, mate. Right, everyone who's ever been in that fucking group is a no-talent fucking ass clown who fucking enjoys their uh, hobby a bit too much. End of story, mate. I think we're going to have to say no. Right? They're so talented, they squeezed in one little trainer. Ooh, my first trainer, mummy. I've become a criminal, dirty bastards. Oh, music is by Martin Walker, I just noticed that. The, um, uh, these uh, lack of CRT glasses, they may be in the other room. So. No, no, I see, I want to see the main menu because I want to see who did the graphics. Okay, the graphics um, could have done with a few raster splits there. You know, every game should be written like the best VCS game. End of story. Sean Mc... Yeah, whatever. I don't know if these graphics are shit or the coder's abilities are shit. Did I just hit practice? I better not have. Select your boxer. I want the one that looks like Rocky. None of them look like Rocky. Or at least a Prince Nazim. <laughs> what happened to him, man? He definitely uh, inspired the character in uh, Phone Show. What's my cat doing over there? Oh, bloody hell. 
You know what? I really can't see the graphics myself because. So the backgrounds are very unimpressive. I don't know if moving the joystick in a different direction actually gives you different move. It doesn't it? It's slightly. How do I do that punch? I want the face punch, isn't it? Yeah, 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 that's the one, mate. So everything's fast, and the, the, the graphics are large and not blocky. No, they're, they're not blocky at all. Why is he not punching anymore? I guess I won that round. So yeah, I mean, uh, there's a lot of places where it's just like, just two colours on the sprites, ignoring the uh, red boots and gloves. So it's like black and grey there, and black and brown there on the top part, and black and blue for his shorts. Well, hey, what's he been doing, madam? And it just seems to me they don't go up and down. So why not have some raster splits or something? I really don't know. So, right, okay, so you get to a point where he's running out of energy. Hopefully he won't top up like some of those rubbish games. So he does, he does top up. I don't like this about boxing games, look. If I knock you out, you're knocked out. That's, that's what the energy bar is for. Either have separate points on the energy bar where he is going to go a bit woozy, but don't have it like refilled. That's just rubbish. You know what? I think it's time for the old rapid fire. Rocky, where are you, mate? I'm doing worse now. He's got me on the ropes, isn't it? doesn't even fall to the ground so the characters actually most of the time they never move so you could have raster splits I mean they did them on tiny little uh, sprites moving up and down all over the screen on uh, Phoenix on the VCS that's what makes Phoenix so great on the VCS it's like someone ignored the, uh, the rubbish 1977 specs and said no nah, no nah, we're doing it this way mate I mean, Phoenix on the VCS, which even if you include the price of the uh, game and the console, uh, was about 100 quid in 1982. Uh, and a BBC Micro with Eagle Empire or a C64 with Eagle Empire was like three times that cost. Don't forget, 300 quid for the C64, 50 quid for that bloody tape deck. Although, the whole point of having that tape deck and why you didn't mind, well, I wouldn't have minded as an adult back then, is because everything loaded. Obviously today, you know, millennials trying to load 30 year old tapes that have been stored in someone's smelly, mouldy garage that don't load, they decide all oh, tape loading is unreliable. Out of 130 original tapes I had, none of them failed to load when I bought them from the shop, not one. There you go, mate. So that's a uh, that's a hundred and thirty percent. That is, it's better than a hundred and ten percent, which is the usual. So you know, it's like it's a watered down version of Street Fighter. Instead of just uh, constantly mashing buttons, you're mashing the button. You're not really doing anything different. 
and the graphics are unimpressive. They're large, but the, the background is like grayscales. I mean, come on, mate. Even if you're using character mode, you, you can't spare another uh, 1K worth of uh, pokes every frame to do the scrolling. So even though they got me uh, on my side and pinned down sort of thing, I seem to be like better than them and I did say no to the cheats. Because obviously, you know, it's taking me time to uh, sort them out, in it? Joe Buckner style. I mean, they're not even a different colour. I mean, there was Henry Cooper, Joe Buckner, what was the other guy? Nah, <laughs> Barry McGuigan. Barry McGuigan was in this game, he'd be like, that's how tall he'd be. Blow job height. Ah, oh, crap, I can't use it in my other videos now. Well, it's still funny. Yeah, they don't fall down or nothing, it's the bare minimum. However, it's not a multi load. I will point that out. So he kind of looked a bit like Hagar. Obviously from Final Fight. Yeah, I think we've seen enough. I mean, they, their hair's not a different colour. They're like... You know what? You know an Arnold Schwarzenegger covered himself with mud at the end of Predator? Imagine that with some, uh, you know, pale red, faded Vauxhall Astra paintwork red gloves and boots. And some uh, bicycle shorts. And that's without my CRT glasses on. I might not even be that generous with them. So anyway, you get the idea. This is a boxing game. I hope there is a better boxing game on the C64. You know. And, and you can't say, well, yeah, see, graphics aren't everything. Because I don't rate the graphics. They're not very good. I don't really care what technical difficulties they had. They should have made them more blocky and more colourful then. End of review.